Welcome back to 4005. I have a question for you guys. Can the 1989 Porsche number 65 Raw Sport Racing 911 Desert Flyer actually be a decent rally car in A class despite being B class 694, rear wheel drive, rear engine, all that stuff? It already has the best tires. It's actually got a good engine. It's got 324 horsepower. It weighs a little over 200 pounds. So I'm going to go in here and tune it and see if we can actually put it to at least A class with at least a good amount of horsepower, maybe four or five, something, whatever, and see what happens. So let's go in here to custom tuning. We obviously uh, want to make it all we drive. If we don't do an engine swap and we do all this, we're going to be like maybe A class or something like that. So we don't want to touch the engine. We already have best tires, but let's go ahead and max these guys out all the way up. There you go. Uh, we have 16 front, that's fine. 16 rear, that's fine. We're not going to touch rim style, that's probably normal. We're going to go ahead and give it a 7 speed. We do want a drive line. We do want a differential. Uh, we obviously want the brake system. We already have rally springs, as you can tell. We are going to cut the weight down by a good 242 pounds. And then we're going to, just, going to do a bunch of horsepower grades. So we're going to do, let's see, intake. We're going to do skip that, skip that. We're going to do exhaust. We're going to do camshaft. We're going to do valves. We're going to do displacement. We're going to do uh, pistons. We're going to do flywheel. I think we actually want to put in one of these guys. We're going to do a fuel system and see how it goes. We're going to be short one PI, which sucks. So let's see what we can do here. Um, Let's go with... Hang on a second. Let's see. We don't want to touch it, obviously. Let's go ahead and... um. I think we are going to have to go with uh, pretty much everything here. We're going to need to to put everything in here. And then we're going to have to cut the front rim size, or tire size, to at least 245. Perfect. All right, that should do it. And then we finally have 2,637 pounds, 507 horsepower, 1.5 for LGs, A-Class, 800. Pay for this. Go into custom tuning. I'll be right back. So here we are at the custom tuning spot. We already have 3.186 seconds, 191.8, not bad. This is going to go to 18. This is going to stay where this is. That's going to stay where that is. This is going to come down to essentially 4 degrees. These are all going to say 26.5, despite not being a road car. But when you do trail races, you're going to have a little bit of on-road. So we want to balance it out. So we're going to do 26.5. We're going to keep... Actually, you know what? We're going to keep the way that is. This is going to go all the way up. This is going to go all, all the way up. 3.2. Okay, that's fine. I was kind of expecting that. Um, that's going to stay where that is. We want pretty much a good amount of softness. We can actually raise it a little bit. Actually, we're going to put that to about there. We're going to put this to about maybe a little bit above that. So, like, right about maybe, like, 20-something above so we're going to go right about there. That's going to go to 7.0. These are all going to say 7.0. And then we're going to do something along the lines of uh, going to the aero part. Maybe not the aero part because we don't have a front bumper or rear wing. So we can skip that. We have a brake system. That's going to stay. And then this is going to go to 50. All these guys are going to say 50 for the most part. And then get inside here. We're going to go inside here. Do that. That's going to stay at 60. Can we raise a bit more to get more rear-wheel drive? Because it's rear-wheel drive to start with. So we're going to raise this to like 68. 2.998. Perfect. All right. Beautiful. 191.7. Awesome. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pick a random dirt trail race. We might do a scramble and a dirt point-to-point. -point. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with... I think we're going to start with a scramble race first. So, I'm going to pick one at random. We're going to warp in three, two, one. So, here we are at La Selva Scramble. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! Okay, so not bad, but to start off, that's fine. That is definitely good. We got a little wet road, which is fine. I can definitely move up with that down this way. A rear 
three loads of toxic and just, whoa, okay, slide you boy. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I mean, we did cut the weight down by over 20 pounds, so it kind of makes sense for it to actually do it. It's like a lot of weight goes in, but that's all right. We're going to get to where we need to be because, yes, here we go. Now the fun begins. There we go. The fact that it can just slide in the corners like that is so awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. And this is like the only other rear wheel drive rear engine rally Porsche that is out there in existence. And the fact that it can just literally kill everyone that you can and it's like actually keeping up with the AI that is so cool. <laughs> yo, I was not expecting that. Like, yo, that's awesome. Look at that. We're actually catching up to these people so easily. Look at that. That is mad nuts. Look at that. There's no way I can get away with anything more than that. Look at that. Nice, look at that, that's so cool. Yo, bro, look at that, yo, wow. Okay, whoa, nice. Nice, look at that, that is nice. After a slow, kind of a weird start, we are actually dominating this track. Okay, hi. We're gonna do a, okay, we were not expecting that. Okay, nice recovery, nice recovery, nice recovery. We good, we good, we good, we good. Get this second lap, you good. All right, that's, that's fine. That's fine, we good, we good, we good. We good, we good. Yes, it did get skill chain there, that was cool. We're gonna, whoa, nice. <laughs> There's your answer, so I guess this thing can rally, actually. And it can literally turn the corners so easy. Look at that. I'm just basically hitting the brake. I'm not even using e-brake, I'm using regular brake. And it's just sliding the corners so easily. I mean, look at that, that is so Look at that. You can't have a more secondary fast rally Porsche with this kind of spec. I mean, dude, look at that. That is mad awesome. You know what? I think this is more than enough evidence to just say, you know what? Scramble race, done. <laughs> we don't even need to do a point to point. We could do a point to point, but I'm like, nah, this is more than evident enough to just say, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go ahead and just do the, the scramble thing. Just be like, Nah, they, I think they got me with the, uh, the scramble thing because, oh, nice. Wow, look at that. That is so awesome. I was not expecting this thing to actually dominate this track so well. Yo, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is so awesome. Okay, slow down there, buddy. They're going to take this a lot easier than last time. Nice. Yo, look at the skill points we get up there. Seriously, this thing is, like, mad awesome. This thing is legit epic, bro. Look at that. Wow. I am actually impressed by this car. Literally. You know what? If you want to use this tune, you can. Feel free to do so because, like, you know, look at that. All you gotta do is just let it gently slide the corners with your. Okay, that was a bit of a mishap. But just let it slide the corners with the regular brake on your Xbox controller. Like the, the button on the back left. And just let it slide the corners. I have to even let go of the gas and do it that way too. You know, just let's slide in there. Look at it, it slides in there so easily. There's no way it can do better than this. It's like, it's like a true, okay, okay. Walk, recover, recover, nice. Good recovery, downshift, there you go. Uh, I mean, look at that. This thing is like killing down the track, look at that. It, it's like, look, look at all the lead I got. Seriously, that is so cool. Dude, you can't even get better than this. Look at that. That is mad awesome. Yo, look at that. Dude, like you can't get better than that, bro. That is so neat. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, recover, recover. Nice. Besides a little mishap, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm not trying to be something else. <laughs> okay, whoa, look at that. Nice. This thing actually has a knack for recovering so well. It, it, ju it just picks for itself. Like, you can't, it just cannot do better than that. Use my little e brake here, and then we're right up to the finish line. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. Dude, you know what? You know what? You know what? I have to say it's a two-way tie between this and the car we got yesterday. I I cannot argue that point. That was so dang cool. <laughs> yes, sir. Woohoohoo! I mean, legit, you cannot mistake the Desert Flyer as it is. I mean, it's it's practically got like the best off-road tire compound it has. That's why we couldn't really change the tires. But like overall, I'd say it's a pretty cool car. Like, like really, there's just no mistake in this specific Porsche. 
it may be rear wheel drive and maybe rear engine, but once you do what you like, the, the, especially to have it for it, if you want to use it, like I said, feel free to, but it's up to you. Just go to, you know, tune setups and just search my game attack, which is right up there in the, in the top left. You know, like, you cannot mistake this particular Porsche. It is so cool. This and the Porsche 911 Rally E from yesterday. Wow. I have to say, honestly, my personal opinion, I think it's going to be a two-way tie. Because the video we saw yesterday and what this is going to go up pretty soon. Wow. I love to say it's a two-way tie. I have to say it's very, very hard to even distinguish which one is better overall. I, I, I'm I, got to say it's a two-way tie. What do you guys think is better? The Porsche 911 Rally E or this guy, the Desert Flyer? Let me know in the comments below which one you think it is. The better car, Rally E versus Desert Flyer. You know what? I even might put a poll up in the community tab and just do it that way. Or I could do a comment or I might do both. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. So anyway, if you are new to the channel, you want to see more 4005 videos and shorts and all that good jazz, you know what you got to do. Subscribe if you're new, smash the like button, comment below your favorite part, and share this with your friends. I will see you guys next time. Until then, y'all stay safe, y'all stay awesome. See ya. Bye.